What's up, Coffee Blurreds? Today, I have got Hannibal on the show, the dude behind the Instagram handle, the Black Bean NYC. And we're doing a little mocha pot experiment today. How does it affect the flavor of a nice mocha pot espresso shot? when you pit all the coffee grounds in there loosey-goosey versus when you're packing it a little tight, which based on most of the YouTube videos I see isn't typically recommended. But Hannibal and I discovered that we want to try for ourselves. We also talk about what's got us not caffeinated enough lately and the difficulties each of us has had in finding a coffee shop in which we actually feel comfortable as people of color. Before we get into it, real quick, I want to give a shout out to my patrons on Patreon. Those are, that's Corey Pickett, you may know her as Who's Your Queen KP on Instagram, Eric Grimm, chief member of the Glitter Cats, got Joshua, who runs the Canadian Coffee Adventures Instagram page, Tiani, aka Coffee and Tax. My newest Patreon is Michelle, the face behind the chocolate barista. Thank y'all so much for your support. It is making me want to cry. <laughs> Thank y'all. Without further ado, let's get into this episode. Cheers. Hey, hey, what's up? Hey, hey how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. So I didn't realize until recently, actually, definitely after I bought this, that this was not actually a mocha pot. I thought it was just like a mini mocha pot. Oh, same. I must, I think I have the same thing. So this is not a... You got, is it small? Is it? Yeah, yeah. this is small. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> nice meeting you for the first time. My name's Hannibal. I know I see your page a lot. I always on there and stuff like that. Okay. You know, it's cool. I like it. I like the podcast. And all that, and I like your other. I like both page. You know, I like uh, black people with coffee. That's what my uh, thing is now. I appreciate that. And I'm shocked you had me on. I'm like, why she want? I'm like, I don't know. I just be doing my thing with coffee. I was surprised. I was like, anyone can do a podcast. Turns out. Yeah, I, was like, I don't know. <laughs> and I specifically, I look for people that don't already have like a lot of limelight. I know what you mean. Like, not that everyone's already already on already. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, because that, that's cool and all if you got it like that, but it, you already got en enough attention. Plus, I already think that, like, they're probably too big time for me anyway. <laughs> they already got so much going on, you know? They already got mm -hmm. so much attention on them. And I'm happy, you know, for them about that. Uh, but I'm looking for the people that, like, are trying to get in it and are struggling to find their place. Yeah. Uh, uh, I get it, I get it. And then that's why, that's, uh, why you're... Your uh, platform and stuff are important. Things like that are cool. Like, I live in New York about 10 years. Okay. I'm from Virginia. Oh, okay. So I grew up in Richmond. And Richmond, um, it doesn't have as many coffee scenes as here. Like, Virginia has a coffee. They're just starting to get more of a coffee scene now. Okay. But, like, Brooklyn has, like, a lot of shops. And New York, Manhattan, they have, like, a lot of different ones. And going to um, different shops, I always felt the need to... Uh, Mm, I ain't feel as comfortable as I should feel in a lot of these places. Just being myself and with a group of my friends and all that, it always felt awkward. And I used to live in Fort Greene, which is some like, um, Fort Greene is like a hip, like a, a stroller, hipstery, whatever area. So okay. then I love going to a coffee shop. So you go in there and it's like, like you don't even want to go in there a lot of times. You just feel like you have to rush it. Made me think of like, all right, I need to start a page. Of like, let me start going to all the cool shops, the black owned shops, the brown owned shops, highlighting those brands. Some of the reason behind why I started the Black Bean, and especially during the pandemic, I was sitting in the house like, no, we need to see where your money goes as well, too, because why should I go to a place that I don't even, you don't feel comfortable to sit down or they call the cops. It's like, I'm not going to go to a place where I don't feel comfortable to sit down and enjoy a cup of coffee, which I love, like, which is one of my favorite things to do. That made me spark up an idea, like, all right, let me start highlighting these companies and going to the brands and stuff like that. So how are we going to do this? I'm going to take your... We won't pack in the coffee. We'll just keep it loose. There's like one video I saw where this dude like packed his espresso a little bit to try and imitate like the espresso, the pressure more. Okay. So then the second one, we'll do that. We'll just pack it in a little bit. I want to see if it makes a difference. How much do you put in here? I think like six grams. I don't usually weigh it. I just fill it to the top. Okay. All right. I'm gonna get that. I went to Target yesterday, got this, boom, hey, okay. black and bold. Then I still have a little bit that I didn't use that uh, was fire. I tried this the other day. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't had any of their coffee yet, but I keep seeing it everywhere. Black and white. It just popped though. Yeah. I don't know which one I should try. But that one, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Okay. I'm, 
And I usually, you know, I watch the videos. I get on um, YouTube. Uh, what's that guy's name? Uh, I watch Hoffman or James Hoffman. Yeah, I watch Hoffman. But man, like, for some reason, I don't like it when there's like one person that people act like is the authority on everything. Yeah, he's not. Like, right? <laughs> <laughs> like, everybody's like, go to him. Like, no. Yeah. Sure. Anybody like, can make <laughs> I know what you mean. Like, I'm gonna be using um my three keys coffee. I got their okay. candy blend. I want to get that. Yeah, I saw that. I watched the one when you did with them. Uh, the the podcast that you did with them a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. They're cool people. So I've been like trying to make this in different ways. I haven't made it as like espresso yet because mm. I've been tasting. It like it tastes. I know like most coffees they taste different based on like how you brew it. But like, there's like a lot of differences when I brew this differently in di like different ways. So yeah, I'm curious how this is gonna turn out as espresso. That's my next go-to. Been a long day, try to get away to my safe place to see your face. I need some shade. I might be doing three keys wrong. Because <laughs> I'm using their light roast and light roast is hard to, to to like get good espresso out of. So I don't know how this is going to turn out. <laughs> show you what I got. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Mine was bubbling for a while after. It usually stops bubbling like pretty much as soon as I take it off, but it was... Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, oh. I swear I've never gotten so much foam from uh, my mocha pot espresso before. Ocean wavy trying to mix it up so we get some stuff to support the Walking over going around Brooklyn and just seeing some shops that I've been seeing for a long time are gone. Okay. I think the ones that, that the locals already knew, they they went to already, they talked to the owner. Like that one, that one is was doing fine, but a lot of them they were just like they, I seen they shut down. My boat done missed the tight dock now. How I'ma get to my island? I'm wondering. Yeah, gulla gulla, they wanna be ya, be ya. Uh, over, over until you lose position. Uh, hope I hope she I. She was asking me like, why don't Hispanic people come here? So I was a man. I'm like, why you had, like, 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 did you have a welcoming? Like, yeah, you gotta. I feel like you have to have this sense of community. You gotta welcome people in the community. Like, don't, yeah. don't like. Yeah, if you start off as like an obviously gentrified kind of like coffee shop, you're gonna attract certain people. And if you're only listening to the people that are already coming, don't ask, why is there anyone different? Yeah, it's like I said, to start the page, going to different places, talking to them, like, oh, all right, like, oh, all the learning experience. I mean, people gotta be open to learning and changing, not just pin on a front, you know? Oh, so yeah, like, yeah. Oh, I know, I've seen that. They, uh, well, they have a lot of that here. They put a George Ford picture up or whatever. That's what we call, like, that's just to invite us in so we can go in there and be like, oh, we're, but then no one black there, no one higher, y'all don't want us there. You trying to play with my intelligence. Like, really? You think I'm just, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, you're just gonna fall for, oh, just cause y'all put a front up or whatever. No, we really looking into these places. Like, y'all can't, Brianna Taylor. I saw these companies put her up, put pictures of uh, uh. Now they don't mention nothing. And then they just do that for like, oh yeah, spend money with us. Like, and then those companies are getting called out now, which as they should be, or like. Starting to take back the power, make, you know, make people at least take notice that we don't buy into bullshit that easily. Okay, I'm gonna get the second one ready. Yeah, I'm about to do the second one too. But now the shore is gone. Yeah, not a lot left to fill the void. Uh, got a lot of so I'm not packing very hard. I'm just like kind of pressing down a little bit. I know what you what you're doing. I don't know. I'll put a lot in there. Maybe I should chill. <laughs> Let me pull some up. I'll put it that way. That's cool. We'll get to see how it is both ways. They wanna be ya, be ya. But first, a word from your sponsor. I don't have any sponsors, so I'm my own sponsor. I got merch, I got product for a limited time only. And any other time after that limited time has passed, you can buy a lot of uh, stuff. So let me just show you what I got. As you can see, there are a plethora of items available per purchase but a comfy classic sweatshirt. This happens to be my favorite color. 
but we, by we I mean me, have got a variety of t-shirt options, sweaters, sweaters with hoods, sweaters with pockets, face masks, the logo in gold, and even a sticker. So stop by the Not Caffeinated Enough, enough store by going to Instagram and checking uh -huh. out the link I'll in my bio or back. go to my website at notcaffeinatedenough.weebly.com That's Weebly, W-E-E-B-L-Y.com Now back to the show. Eventually, when the city opens back up, I want to do a uh, coffee tours, like black coffee tours of Brooklyn, New York, wherever, like all of the coolest shops. My, uh, I got the idea, one of my friends, he uh, does ice cream tours. He goes to different shop, bicycle ice cream tours. Um, he's an educator, so he does it for education for his students. So eventually, that's my um, building up all these shops, going to different ones. I'll be able to like... All right, where are the black shop? Where are all the black owned brown owned shops in New York? Yeah, you'll be putting that on your uh, on your page when that we get started on that. Oh yeah, yeah, all okay. that's going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all of us. Yeah. This uh, this first shot I pulled actually isn't bad. I like it. That's a cool spoon too. I don't know what that is. That a cup? It is a cupping spoon. I got it from uh from Glitter Cats. I oh, that's that's cool. Yeah, it's all fancy. I know. Fancy. I like that. <laughs> Glitter Cat, I see them on their page a lot. They do they do the baristas, right? Yeah. yeah. They have a lot. They have a lot going on, yeah. And mm -hmm. they feel like they're starting to do more, like more projects, more competitions, stuff like that. I think they got some kind of, you know, I feel bad because I haven't looked into it, but I saw something about um, they're putting like a spotlight on black businesses and black baristas yeah they need to everyone need to like all these places because y'all all y'all get y'all beans from like whatever like i don't know they should yeah. <laughs> why not i don't i feel like it shouldn't take this it shouldn't have took all this to do it but like now companies are realizing like oh yeah we mm -hmm. actually need black people <laughs> <laughs> they actually exist <laughs> and, 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 yeah. you know, oh this one finished quick oh really Oh, shit. The, yeah, the the one that I compacted more finished quicker. What? I don't know. What? I don't know if that has something to do with it. Yeah. It went, was it still hot? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mine's not there yet. Man, that one took forever. For mine took forever. It's still so how did that one come out compared to the first one? It it looks like it's got the same amount of foam. Actually, no, it's got a little bit more foam. Just a little bit more foam. Mm. Uh, yeah, I love the I love the the coffee community, the black like that. Like it's a cool, it's a cool, it's a cool thing that's uh, going on now. I like that. And then I didn't know it like existed. But YouTube, I was watching um uh, Coffee Black. That's the first one I saw where he was talking about the education and then how they like Dutch spies stealing the coffee beans and that they weren't. Even, I was like, wow, this is. Hey. That's when I was like, nah, I gotta look more into like the history behind coffee. Like, yeah. where does it come from? How did it get here? How did they, how are people, like, how is this coffee getting into where, like these hipster shops where they get to like hoard it in their shops with their suspenders and beards and act like, like they get to bring it there. Like, how does it get to those places that I feel like I can't even go in? Yeah, I, I'm trying to see which one I like better. I think. Me too. I like my second one better. So I feel like I got more flavor in the second one. They were both real good though. But the second one, I got like more flavor and it's it's almost tastes like a little bit darker. Like I would almost use the word more bitter, but it's like not overly bitter. I like it more, but I think if I use like a darker roast, it the second one would probably have been more, might've been too bitter. But with this light roast, mm. The the pack down one work works for me for real. Yeah, this is good. I feel like I'm gonna pack. I'm gonna do the pack down method from now. On. I don't know. I feel like it, it was a stronger right. shot when I put more of it in there. It had more flavor. <laughs> like it hit. It hit better the second time. Yeah, right. That's interesting. That I, I think when I put more in now, I gotta pack it down. But when I watch it, see. But when I watch a YouTube video, they said don't pack it down. Just yeah. the top. but now I'm, I feel like it's stronger when you pack it down. So I don't know. 
Yeah. Maybe, you know what? You know what? It's the white people that have been saying that I've been saying. Yeah, see, no, maybe, now. see, that's it's why you strong for them. They can't handle that's that. exactly why you can't trust the, they're like, like you said, I'd be like, yeah, James Harvey, you don't know, because their flavor might be, I don't know the flavor, it's just like, it's like that mac and cheese, you'd be like, hold on, who made this? Like, yeah, nah, you gotta, exactly. But you gotta see, you're right, you gotta test your own, we gotta get the black, uh-huh. we gotta have the, the black flavor, the testers, oh, the, the black James Hoffman, to be like, all right, dude, I trust that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. It's like when I'm looking at a recipe for for something and right. like food or whatever. If I know like a white person made this recipe, I'm adding more season. Yeah, like, it's like it's like, like maybe if you know the recipe, boom, put more cup. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> that's funny. Damn, we landed on something. Huh? No, nah, that's real. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. So let me. So now, anytime I see them YouTube video, I'm like, they don't know who they. Let me. It depends on who they are, like, because I'm skeptic of everything. I'm like, hold on, no, nah, they don't know what they're talking about. Yo, me too. I'm skeptical already of everything, and now, now we figured out why. Shit. Yeah, it's because the bland palettes. Like, I can't do that. I'm like, no. Nah. <laughs> yeah, but remind me what coffee you used again for this one. The black and white. Okay. Okay. This is the Colombian. Man, that was we made a brand new discovery. There you go. That's why you gotta have the experiment. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm so glad that you came on the show. I'm glad you let me come on here. I don't know where. Like, I'm like, why? Should, like, thank you for inviting me to not caffeinated enough. What has got you feeling not caffeinated enough lately? Oh, oh, all right, all right. So, what's got me not caffeinated enough? It's those when you see the signs of the George Floyd uh, welcome in, but then nobody black work there. None of y'all brands in the store are black. None of y'all, I can't even walk in there. Yeah, but y'all playing rap, y'all wearing Jordans, y'all wearing, y'all wearing, y'all carbon copies of what our style is, but then I can't go in the shop. That got me not caffeinated enough. As soon as I go in there, like, there we go. That's one <laughs> question. What is it? All right, so would I be considered a coffee blur? I don't know. What is <laughs> I know you always say that, yeah? Yeah, you're coffee. I don't know. <laughs> blurred, you're coffee blurred. It's a good thing. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah, all right, word, word. I know I'm saying the bad thing. I'm like, I don't know. You weren't sure. I want to just make sure you know it. it it's good. Yeah, we, we both coffee blurs. Yeah, you and that. Word, word. nice, nice. <laughs> nice meeting right. you. Nice talking to you. Thanks for inviting me on. I appreciate that. Of course, of course. All right. Peace. Peace.